This is the Star Wars 6 inch, the Black Series. First order, General Hux. The figure is part of the third wave of these new The Force Awakens 6 inch Black Series figures, and he is absolutely phenomenal. Here he is with the Stormtrooper figures. This one is the exclusive Snow Trooper. This is the regular Snow Trooper, which is part of the wave. Uh, for most parts of the world, this is wave three. I think there is a revision, wave one or a wave three revision that has that Darth Vader, Wrath of the Emperor, I'm not sure. But this one is the last one to come out uh, out of all uh, five waves of Star Wars figures that we've received. We even got wave one of 2016 way ahead of this wave, but doesn't matter. Uh, just glad that we actually had this one. Didn't have to pay over too much just to get it. Just recently got this one uh, from a local Toys R Us here in Manila and it is absolutely phenomenal. I wasn't expecting a lot from this figure because it is General Hawks, you know, it's not a figure that I was actually interested in picking up. I mean, I just needed a General Hawks just to complete my shelf of Force Awakens figures and well, he didn't die. I am presuming he didn't die because uh Supreme Leader Snoke ordered him to bring Kylo Ren back to him to his home to his base and so they could complete the training. So, I'm pretty sure he'll be back in episode eight so one of the uh one of one of the reasons why one if you're collecting the force awakens or the new trilogy uh figures you should get this figure so very low expectations on this figure is actually figure has managed this figure has actually managed what am i saying has actually managed to surprise me i was expecting the coat first of all to be very very tough but it's actually made of a very very soft very pliable PVC material. Well done, Hasbro. I think they've been learning from their experiences with Marvel um, with the coat. You know? So the sleeves are just molded in. Uh, there's just holes in the coat. The holes, I think, are a little bit too big so that it does, it's kind of looking like a vest, like a long vest, but doesn't matter. It looks great. The lower tunic, lower part of his uniform is also made of a soft PVC material, albeit a little bit st stiffer than this one. Uh, so, but still soft enough for you to be able to articulate and, and get him into several uh, really decent poses uh, with his legs. Uh, so paint apps came out great. If you're looking through several on the pegs, uh, just make sure the eyes are painted uh, evenly. Uh, I've seen one that had the left eye a little bit lightly painted, but that's fine. Uh, his hair came out great. The uh, paint on his uniform came out great. Wonderful. And you know, this guy is looking to be the new Grand Moff Tarkin. I think, uh, for the new trilogy, and he's look, you know, <laughs> it was actually very funny. Um, I was laughing a little bit while watching him on screen. Today is the last day of the Republic. <sighs> That was so funny. It was a nice speech, but it was very funny. Articulation for the figure's got a ball joint neck on a hinge, waist swivel, or was it a ball joint? It's a weight. It's a waist swivel. Ball hinge shoulders, elbows, and wrists. The wrists go in and out. Ball jointed hips, thigh swivel, double jointed knees, ball hinge ankles with the rocker joints. So, pain apps are fantastic. Articulation is great. The sculpt is well done. Great uh, use of the soft PVC material for his uniform. He comes with this um, snow trooper pistol, but it's just painted black so that it's a, an officer pistol now. But it's exactly the same mold as the uh, stormtrooper pistol that we got. Very, very well done because it surprised me so much. I'm going to give the figure a 10 out of 10. I was prepared to give it an 8 or a 7 because I wasn't really expecting a lot, but 10 out of 10 because it managed to surprise me. Ah, a little bit off-centered logo, but that doesn't matter. Well done, Hasbro. The Star Wars 6-inch, the Black Series, First Order, General Hux. Thanks for watching.